Hello, my name is Alter, and I gotta do a really quick one because uh, I have to still study and uh, <laughs> I got exams this week. Uh, so I'll just give you a quick breakdown of what happened in uh, Lucifer season 2, episode 18, at the finale. Okay, so uh, in this episode, we had a lot of uh, things uh, going on for us today because, and but the biggest thing though is uh, Lucifer and his mother. So and uh you know he found out that uh you know um charlotte was losing her or like she, she just got back her power and then like she's dying kind of or she's fading into eternity whatever and um you know she did threaten linda and i think like uh that was one of the biggest things that affected lucifer because like he knew like if he affected um if he affected um no if she affected uh linda she could have uh affected uh chloe as well that means like she could have um destroyed chloe in some way because she was playing the long con in which like she was gonna get closer to chloe in a way and then like at any time she could destroy chloe so lucifer had to really like go fast um so yeah this was a really interesting episode for me and uh the last portion in fact because uh that's one of the things i was like yeah it makes sense because like uh you know um the goddess left uh charlotte so therefore uh charlotte is now back to the original charlotte and also, um, I realized that uh, we had an emotional talk with Lucifer and his mother. And uh, Lucifer obviously used what he learned in this episode um, on his mother. And he was like, yeah, there's no point in uh, moving backwards, only moving forwards. Um, a play on the move on, don't let go thing. Um, I honestly think that the move on, uh, no, the move forwards, don't move backwards is a more... Um, strong point to use um, so uh, yeah I think that um, this was a good episode to leave off of because like we see that Lucifer gets hit on the head spoilers uh, at the end and uh, somebody kid times him and puts him in the desert which I'm debating myself whether or not that is uh, his hell or uh, whether it is his like middle plane kind of thing because he got his wings back and I'm like oh shit he got his wings back uh, because like he's he's thrown away his wings he doesn't want his wings back but you know he's he's got it back and so that's gonna be playing a bigger role in the next season I feel um, and uh, yeah that's about it and of course like Dan is obviously confused about what's happening with him and Charlotte and everything else and I definitely think Amanda Deal has kind of redeemed his powers almost I think that he has sort of retained his position after he found out that he was God's uh, favorite so that's something that uh, we watched happen today and uh, I definitely think Ella should be more of a part in Lucifer's life as well. Not just, you know, the comic relief and, you know, not just the ditzy girl who kind of is badass but yet can be just, like, weird in cases like this. Uh, but, you know, that's not a bad mouth thing to say, like, oh, you know, she needs to be more serious. I'm just saying, like she could potentially um you know play a bigger role in the in future episodes and i really hope that that she does um i i really look forward to more of her stuff um and obviously chloe is in it of herself uh a person that you know just wants to be told the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth but you know in this case I, i'm kind of with lucifer and that you know maybe the, the truth isn't the best for her but i think that you know he really thought that maybe he should take it to the next level and tell her and this was the episode he was gonna do it but again with all circumstances coming in you know he's he couldn't because you know i think that um his father so to say is 
uh, definitely intervening in his life and you know I think definitely think that's what happened and that's what we were supposed to take away from it but we will still have to see in the next uh, season to see whether or not uh, it's good to go or that storyline is still intact um, so yeah, I really like that we see Amanda Deal's powers again because I really miss that because I'm like, yeah, oh shit, yeah, I remember his powers now because it's the whole time slow-mo thing and, you know, you can really milk that. Um, I really love the talk with Lucifer and his mother again. Uh, love the sword, the uh, Azrael sword. Uh, and, uh, of course, the, um, uh, the daughter of Chloe is really something to be like yeah she can be you know in a way but she can also be cute and uh, you know just a side attraction to the plot um, and that's not to say you know I don't like the kid and just saying like she's there so that it gives uh, Maziki an emotional anchor now because like she's grown a bonding with the uh, with the little monkey, as Chloe would put it. Um, okay, the thing about Dan is that, that I think he's gone through a lot of things, and this episode is uh, the more of it because, like, he's trying to get Man and Deal to, you know, uh, deal with his issues and, you know, deal with his emotions head on by doing improv and you know just doing something else to take the mind of it and of course Amanda Deal do doesn't understand that because like he's not in the big thing of just like you know uh, using art as a escape as an escape from something else I'm using art as an escape escape from my university life so we all use something to escape from something else and uh, I don't think Amanda Deal understands that but he's definitely trying to understand that uh, and that's what I think is important for me uh, that people try to understand like why certain people use certain outlets to vent or to express themselves um, I love that uh, he was really frustrated when uh, his mother threw him onto the piano and it was like no I just got this tuned uh, which is really interesting for me because I'm like dude you know that costs money as well right which I think he was going for but I think it was more of like he was frustrated with himself as well to not being able to persuade his mother to you know go back to heaven on her own terms and I like that um, I like that Lucifer is like, you know what, I don't think you should go back to, to have it because that's going to be war and with war you'll have casualties so I'm just going to give you a whole new world to go and inhabit and you know make it your own and become your own, you know, main goddess, uh, you know, not to be conflicted, whatever, so he gave his mom the perfect, most perfect present I feel like because like she's she could be the main person there, so uh, yeah. Um, I still love this series because it's it's not about it's not about his powers, and his powers are really cool for me. Like Lucifer's powers are really cool for me. Uh, it's more of the you know it's more of the drama and you know how he deals with his life issues on hand, and it's really interesting to see the chemistry between uh, Decker and uh, Lucifer. And in this episode, especially, like, they decide to stop, like, running around the bush and, you know, start to confront things uh, on on the head. So that's something that, uh, you know, that was going for them. But even with all that's laid out for them, they couldn't do it. So, uh, yeah, that was about it. And I will see you. In the next episode, I don't think I'm gonna do uh, Lucifer's. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do a Gotham one because uh, I don't think I have the time. I don't think I have the energy because I'm really tired. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, I'll think about it more and maybe I'll do a, a Gotham one tomorrow. Let me see how I feel tomorrow. So uh, that's it. I will see you in the next episode. See you then. Mm -hmm.